Fox News apparently has a brand new conspiracy out to enrage you. Uh, apparently, Joe Biden, according to them, is going to limit you to drinking two beers a week. Oh, no! <laughs> Actually, if you're uh, Brett Kavanaugh, I, I, I like beer. Uh, I drink beer. I like beer. Oh, no, only two beers a week. Okay, <laughs> so let me give you some details on this insane conspiracy. Uh, last week, the New York Post and other right-wing outlets reported that Biden's alcohol czar, George Koob, uh, is going to change or possibly will change the alcohol guidelines to recommending a limit of two beers a week. Uh, so that is a recommendation that's not actually passing laws limiting people to only two beers a week. Nonetheless, this made its way all the way up to Fox News's White House reporter, Peter Ducey. He's going to ask about it. Does President Biden want to limit Americans to two beers a week? I, I, where is this coming from? It's maybe coming. I did. Maybe I didn't miss you so much. Where is this? Where is this coming from? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Dr. George Koob, who is the uh, director of the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, oh. says the U.S. may soon follow Canada and recommend just two beers a week. How do you guys think that's going to go? Let me tell you what I'm not going to get involved in. In, uh, in, that, in that question right there. I, I have no idea. I've not seen the data. Uh, I cannot speak to this. Uh, I will leave it to the experts and not weigh so in. So the experts say two beers a week, I, that's okay I, with I, President I, Biden. I, I will leave it to the experts. I'm just not going to. Where's this coming from? Uh, uh, well, it's coming from the fever swamps of the right wing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Peter, do you know what a guideline is? I mean, let me help, because maybe uh, Peter Ducey is too stupid to realize this, and therefore is the perfect candidate for needing guidelines. See, a guideline is a suggestion. It is a recommendation. Okay? Uh, Jackrooted thugs are not going to bust into your house if you open up a third can of Coors. It's not going to happen. Guidelines. We, we have them on a lot of things, and we ignore them, a lot of them, every single day. <laughs> Again, with, you know... It, it, Yes, there are things that you should do. A guideline is to drink eight glasses of water a day. Sometimes you don't. Uh, are the water police going to come in and dunk your face into a tub? No, that's not happening. That's, it's the same with beer, okay? Yes, you can have more than two drinks a week, even in Canada. I know, where they apparently paint Canada as some sort of communist dystopian hellhole. <laughs> it's not. Okay, but anyway. Look, on the right wing, I'm sure you've noticed, there, there happens to be this cottage, cottage industry of people flipping out and thinking that, uh, you know, uh, the Democrats and Joe, Joe Biden is going to come for your, uh, last time it was like your stove, your gas stove, then it was your, your hamburgers, your car, now your beer. <laughs> I mean, let me be clear, he's not. Okay, N nobody's coming after your, any of that stuff. Okay, just nobody. Nobody. What this is, is... Stupid! Yes. The reason Corinne Jean-Pierre isn't saying anything about this, like, ah, no, no, I don't really want to talk about this, this is dumb, is because she doesn't live in the right-wing fever swamps where this stuff originates. So she probably never heard of it, but like, what are you talking about? What? Limit? You, two beers? What are you guys talking about? I'm not going to... No comment. No comment. Look, the worst thing about this is, of course... There are people out there online that believe it. Yes, I'm going to go to the platform formerly known as Twitter, uh, where, again, you have people that are not, you know, ironically, uh, you know, uh, uh, talking about this. No, these people are serious. One person posts, the Biden administration and the federal government are wanting to control you, starting with allowing you to drink two beers a week. What? Again, I, I look, this is, this is a MAGA account, okay? Another person says, response coming from an administration that made people wear a diaper on their face. If you're doing that, I mean, you've got some other issues, okay? Uh, social distance and take a vaccine that killed more people than it saved. That's, of course, not true. <laughs> Ridiculous. So, uh, idea that they would restrict us to two beers a week is not that hard to believe. Never forget prohibition. 
prohibition was a disaster that immediately got well undone okay you know why it got undone because it was a disaster very very clear uh so him saying like oh uh, yeah it's, uh, not that hard to believe no it is hard to believe unless you're dumb stupid another person uh pointed out how exactly did they intend to police this they can't police anything but, but they they don't plan on policing it because it's not a real thing they're not they're not policing guidelines are not something that you police they're guidelines, they're suggestions, they're recommendations. That's it. They're not laws or rules. Now, look, uh, there were obviously a lot of comments on this, uh, but uh, a lot of them weirdly seem to have been about uh, Korean Jean Pierre, and a good majority of them happen to be racist, so I'm not going to get into it, but you kind of get the point here. Uh, but look, at the end of the day, this is a good example of how the right seems to fall for every seem to uh, you know single kind of conspiracy theory, <laughs> uh, and this look. Let's be honest. This would be hilarious if if it weren't so just mind-numbingly stupid.